Okay, now that I'm properly medicated, I could tell this story, and this is a tough one, and I'm gonna tell it. Well, all right, this is what happened. So I'm with this band in the mid 80s, and we had just played a gig at a place called the U-Turn in Middleton, Ohio, where we had a horrible experience with the power. <laughs> uh, had a transformer blow up off the pole, had the crowd running and screaming, the place set in the darkness. Uh, somebody uh, 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 totally abusing me with two by fours. We, <laughs> it was just horrible all around. The whole thing kind of sucked and I was looking to put it behind me. So finally we load out of that show in Middleton and, um, and I did something that really made everybody uh, really, uh, really happy and like me and that much more, which is that I wrecked the truck. <laughs> I wrecked the truck. I was turning around in the parking lot and I'm looking left and I'm looking right, but you know where I'm not looking? I'm not looking up and I'm not looking at this sign that is hanging over. And as I'm looking down the road and I'm driving out, all of a sudden, BAM! We just come to a sudden stop. I got somebody sitting next to me. I put his head right in the windshield. Just BAM! <laughs> it was really, um, really unsightly. <laughs> tore the top of the truck open. Of course, it, it tore the part of where we kept the guitars, you know, so. Uh, it was uh, horrible. Had to, had to go to a truck stop, unload the truck, repair that, and then head on our way. And where we're headed is we're headed to a gig that was called Boogie in the Hills. And it was in some place in Southern Ohio and it was a, a van festival. You know, it was a, a, a weekend of hillbillies and vans having all the entertainment that you can get out of a windowless vehicle with my band uh, War Child playing for a couple of nights. We were playing Friday night, Saturday night, that was the gig, right? And just coming from this horrible experience with the electricity at the U-turn and I just wrecked the truck, man. <laughs> I just wanted to get get an easy gig uh, going there, right? So, you know, the band rarely played at any outdoor shows. I mean, most of the members of the band it just had never seen any sunlight whatsoever. They're completely nocturnal. So we uh, get there and um, we get to this Boogie at the Hills place, and the stage is like a trailer at the top of a hill. Instead of like a regular amphitheater style where, it, where it's, you'd be looking down at the stage, at this situation you're looking up at it. And it looked like someone had a mobile home and just took three walls off it and stood the roof up with some cheap ass sticks. And that was the stage, you know, shifty and uh, unsafe, unstable. But it's what it was there. Uh, it's what we had there. And that, that's how that was, right? So we uh, meet the guy that's putting this thing on, and the first question I have, you know, after this last debacle I had with the power, <laughs> first question I have is, where is the power? And he, he points down at the ground by the side of the trailer, and there's a couple of 20 amp circuits there. And, it's, <laughs> and I'm like, I, I'm trying to explain to him, hey, this is not gonna work, man. And he's not paying attention to me, and he's walking away, and he's doing something else, and, and that's it. And but I noticed that there's two things uh, next to the trailer. There's a stop sign and there is a telephone pole. And I look up and I see there's a transformer up there, just like the one that blew up <laughs> at the last gig, you know. You know. So I'm just so ignorant and I'm just so uh, antsy to uh, get this uh, electricity going, and solve this problem, and get this show up and uh, get the thing going, right? So I look up there and it's like, you know. Why can't I just, why can't I just take my uh, jumper cables and why can't I just jump onto that? I mean, that's where the power is coming from anyways, right? And uh, so that's, that's, that's what I did. So I took the truck and I backed it up there, got a road case and we had a ladder. We had like a six foot ladder, but it wasn't an A-frame. You had to lean against, you had to lean to, right? So I'm on the truck on a case and I'm on the ladder. And I'm all the way up there. And I'm up next to this transformer, which is about the size of a small refrigerator. And uh, it's humming, <laughs> you know. And uh, I'm really having second thoughts about this. Like, maybe this isn't a good idea. 
I'm leaning forward, and it's it's like because I got the ladder on the on the uh, the pole, so I'm kind of leaning back, leaning up, trying to clamp on, and I'm leaning up, and then from down <laughs> down on the ground, somebody yells, "Hey, man, want me to come up there with the board in case you get electrocuted?" <laughs> It's like, man, I'm more afraid of him hitting me with that fucking board, me falling to my death, than I am being incinerated with this electricity. <laughs> right? So I'm I'm reaching up, reaching up, and I am wincing, and I get the first clamp on. Nothing happens. Fucking great. So I reach up and I get the second one on. Nothing happens. Outstanding climb down, get back down on the ground, and I don't remember what I did for the neutral, but I remember what I did for the ground. There was the stop sign right there, so I got a pair of vice grips, and I just clamped it with the ground, just clamped it right to the stop sign. That's how we did it. And then we uh, <laughs> we tested the power, which is what we did. We plugged in something cheap, <laughs> which, which was a light, stared at it for five minutes, and if it didn't smoke, hey, we're good to go. It didn't smoke, it must be good to go. So we set everything up, set up the lights, set up the the uh, the audio, set the whole stage thing up. It was a uh, pretty good sized production for what it was. 24 foot truck jammed to the to the front of the back of, of, uh, of that show, right? And uh, we tested all the lights, tested all the audio, and everything uh, seemed pretty good. Seemed pretty good to go. So the uh, showtime comes, a couple thousand people out there, and uh, the band starts, <laughs> the pyro kicks off, the band starts, the lights come on, and the transformer and behind the stage fucking explodes in a billion pieces, you know? And this big fl white flash and just this hot oil just falling from the sky with metal fragments. I mean, it's just a miracle of Christ that nobody was injured or killed. When that thing went off, it was just unbelievable. <laughs> it was just unbelievable, man. And I ran backstage, like, you can imagine, I'm freaked the fuck out. <laughs> Everyone's freaked out. The whole site's in darkness. <laughs> the only thing the only thing you can see is the campfires that people had going. <laughs> you know, so I go back to where my PD was, my, our home-built PD that we used. I go back there, and it's gone. It was gone gone there was nothing but a char mark in the ground where it was you know what else was gone the fucking stop sign never found it never fucking found it <laughs> fucking incinerated and um or thrown somewhere i mean i don't know although i never looked for it so there's that <laughs> but uh it was fucking unbelievable and you know what i had found out i'd I, I traced that. I, I followed these extension cords that with the Jimmy John's French fry shack that I, I found out that, that him and some burger guy and a bunch of other people had came and tapped into our um, our distro. So that's how I justified that. That wasn't 100% my fault. <laughs> but uh, that's how that was. And we were out of power. The site was down. I mean, this was the time before uh, cell phones. I mean, someone had to get into their love machine and go find a payphone. <laughs> called the power company and any way you looked at it you know hey the show was over <laughs> so you know part of the payment that the band got was uh, several kegs of beer and just i don't even know how many um how, just a pile of half gallons of uh, jim bean you know so me and butch we um guitar player from the band we each grab a half gallon and we go drifting off into the campsite making some friends and, uh, you know, nothing else to do. Might as well go party, right? Good. The man puts his penis, okay, into the woman's vagina. <laughs> that was, that's how our attitude was. So we go party, and uh, the next thing I know, it's like 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon the following day. I wake up in some, uh, uh, somebody else's tent and um, go back to the stage and it turns out that they had got the power company to come out. They replaced the um, <laughs> replaced the transformer up there, and and they brought X amount of twenty amp circuits. And I was able with the lighting guy to rewire goddamn everything and make a show happen that night. <laughs> so we do the show. Everything goes great. The band plays all night. It was awesome. Everyone had a good time. Everyone had electricity. 
<laughs> you know, and uh, and it was it was some good time. And after the show was over, uh, I did the, I did wash, rinse, and repeat. I got myself another half gallon of Jim Beam. I disappeared into the campsite. I made some um, acquaintances, and um, and that's how that went. So the next morning, Sunday, I wake up and I'm literally at an empty campsite. Whoever I was with is long gone. And most other people were long gone. I mean, I know mid afternoon at this point, and I wasn't just um, I wasn't just uh, just like hung over. I was still drunk, you know, from the night before. And I get up, and I for some reason I couldn't open one of my eyes. <laughs> Right? I got one eye closed and I make my way, stumble my way back to where the stage was. Well, <laughs> you know, the band had never uh, made any accommodations for the crew to stay anywhere. So it was just about just go find a place to sleep, sleep on the stage, sleep in the truck. You know, that's why some of us opted to uh, make friends and, you know, sleep with them. So I could make my way back to the stage and the band had already split. <laughs> they had got in the motor home and left and they had left the crew, which was me, Beasley, Uncle Bob, the guitar tech, and somebody, right? So <laughs> these guys are all laying like crime victims behind the stage. They're all passed out. And I've got my eye closed, and, it, and I'm having and my, it, the one eye that's open is blurry, you know? And I go up to kick somebody, right? And I go to kick him, and I completely miss, and I kick Uncle Bob right in the fucking face. <laughs> right in the face. I did not mean to do it, but I kicked him right in the face. His nose exploded. <laughs> He's laying there for 20 minutes. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I'll tell you what the fuck. I'll tell you what the fuck. We gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we gotta tear this show down. We gotta put it all back in the truck. And we gotta go to the next town, wherever that is, you know. But we definitely gotta go. I mean, we got no. We got no breakfast. We got no nothing. We got. We got no nothing. 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 There's nothing for us there. The campsite has been emptying out of all the humans. Everyone's splitting, you know. So we gotta get out of here. So I get everybody up. And we start the loadout. We start taking apart the sound and the lighting and the back line and all that. And I back the truck up and, you know, starting to get everything together. And I'm watching the other fellas and everyone's walking like they're underwater, you know, like in like super slow motion. I go, <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm still drunk, you know, <laughs> from the night before. I go, uh, Beasley, Beasley, what is going on? What's up with everybody, man? Is, are you okay? And he goes, well, I thought we needed to level out, so I gave everybody some Valiums and we started doing shots. I'm like, shots and Valium? We need cocaine and coffee, man. We're taking this in the, all, the wrong direction. Come back here. You know, so that's the state of my crew. And then I watch Uncle Bob, who uh, goes to the edge of the stage. He goes to take some lights down. And if you know anything about a ladder, one that's not an A-frame, just a straight ladder, one of the important things about a ladder is you got to have something to lean it up against. Right? Well, Uncle Bob, all valiumed out, <laughs> right, with his busted nose, took that ladder, put it to the edge of the stage, leaned up it against nothing, and then tried to climb it. And it went right over the front. Uh, just uh, unbelievable, but what was really uh, horrible, besides Uncle Bob going off the deck, is that I really had to use the bathroom. Had to use the bathroom in a bad way. I don't know what my diet had been consisting of in the past 48 hours, mostly Jim Beam, but um, I really had to use the bathroom. There's not a porta potty anywhere near here. I had to go right away. There was a hill behind the... <coughs> A hill behind the uh, stage. I said, well, that's my only option, you know. I gotta get up the right way, right? So I go back there and um, and I grab a, I grab a couple uh, tissues from the truck and I run back there and I pull my pants down and I, I said, oh man, I better lean against a tree, you know? <laughs> so I lean against a tree and I have some kind of... Um, some kind of explosion that happens. I lose my balance and I 
fucking roll down the goddamn hill. And by the time I get to the bottom of the hill, I'm just covered with everything that sticks to feces. I'm covered in my own shit. It's all over me and I'm trying to get it off me <laughs> with my limited resources of the sticks and the twigs and a couple of tissues, man. It was, it was fucking horrible. As horrible as you can think it was, it was that horrible, you know? <laughs> so I climb up the, back up the hill and uh, some, uh, some guy and two girls had walked up and we're talking to the guys, and I don't know who the hell they were, or where they came from, what the whole thing was, but I walked up, and I said, hey man, what's going on? And the, and the two girls looked at me, and they backed up, <laughs> and uh, somebody says to me, hey man, what's that shit in your hair? <laughs> yeah, I had my own shit in my hair. <laughs> Beyond horrible, you know? So, I got Uncle Bob, I got somebody, <laughs> and I got uh, Beasley in the truck, me and my shitty hair, and we rolled off to the next town <laughs> and <laughs> left that one behind us.